another day in the Vobe's life and <laughs> Mr. Tim Tricker has turned up to see if the kitchen is still standing. Good morning. Hello Tim. How are you? I'm sorry. Yep. 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 <laughs> Tree start again. Yeah. Morning Tim. Morning Richard. How are you? I'm very well thanks you. Thank you. Right. Yes. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, how's the kitchen looking? It's okay. It's still in one piece. Shoddy work by Craig though. Absolutely. Brilliant work. Shoddy work. No, no, brilliant work. Like <laughs> brilliant great. work. Good man. But uh, I'm taking you into the van. You are? Yes, to do some measuring up. We've got to go and do some measuring. Come and join me. Okay, let's go. The log man has been um, over the weekend, and now I have a garden, which is a bit more of a climbing frame. So to get out of my house, this isn't going to be easy. I've got to climb over these massive great big bags of logs. But they should last me until the autumn. So he said, Mr. John from the Sussex Logs, lovely bloke. But the way I go through them, I don't think they will. Anyway, oops, I'm gonna clamber around. Are you all right, Tim? I'm fine. Ricky came over yesterday and, and uh, lent us a tent. Uh, although Elizabeth is sending us a tent, which is very kind, I don't think it's gonna arrive in time. So just in case, Ricky came over and I got him to clamber right over the top of that Unfortunately, he fell down into a ravine and has never been seen since. Anyway, that was just a, a by the way. So we're back out here to have a look inside the van at the little task that, um, a little project I've set you. You up for a little project on a, little a Sunday project morning? project on a Sunday morning, it's a fine day. It so. is a fine day. Right, get in the van, I shall lock you in. I want to make in the van a portable, collapsible, set it up a ball, double bed. Now it's not what you're thinking, but when I'm, <laughs> Tim's looking very anxious there now. Um, no, when Julia and I are away, it's not what you're thinking. She, we may well be bringing Joe with us. And if Joe comes, if we go in a tent, we're going on our camping trip, if we go in a tent, Joe is likely to wake up in the night and wander out. But we thought we could lock him in the van, but with Julia. So Julia and Joe could sleep in the van, but the bed that I've got in the van is not big enough. I could be in the tent. So that way we can contain little Joe. Um, so we need to fashion something. And Tim has been using his cogitated brain to work it all out. Very. So piece of wood behind you. Yeah. Here's a piece of wood which this I found in my shed. It used to be um, a desk, a homemade desk. Homemade desk, but yeah, we're going to move, move that and we're going to fashion it onto the side of what you've got already. Onto the side of the old bed, yep. which is um, here. So we need to whiz the B&Q, get some bits and pieces, and we'll be able to knock, get it, it, together. knock it together in no time. And whilst Tim's doing that, I should be sitting in a deck chair on the beach having a nice read. As I Sounds normally. a very familiar story. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and he came back for more, ladies and gentlemen. Very familiar story. back from big and query. Block and quail. What? Block and quail. Block and tackle. Is that their real names? Block and quail. Block and quail. Nice people. Nice, nice friendly chap. What was his name? Andrew. Andrew. He was a bit starstruck because he met you. And you. And he me. sees me 
I think Once a week it's actually at least. seen the channel. <laughs> anyway, we are back from there having rooted around. As you know, we were going to purchase a whole load of wood and make A-frames and put hinges on the existing framework to support it. A lot of <laughs> I don't know. Ow! Oh, sorry. Thank you. Um, a lot of that. But then when we were walking down the aisle, do 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 do, do copyright strike, um, we noticed boxes. On the side. Boxes. On the sides, boxes, plastic boxes, you know the storage boxes. Uh, and and I saw one for five pounds seventy five and I thought wow. Bargain. It was big. It was big it was big. Five pounds seventy five. I said, Hey, what if we put boxes down the central aisle of the van? And put a beard on top. And put yeah, they put the bed on the top. And he said, What, five seventy five? No, then, never. And then you looked at it. Eighteen pounds something. Yeah, the five seventy five was just for the lid. <laughs> so the actual box was yeah, a lot. It was gonna come in at twenty three, twenty four pounds. Each. Each box. So just under fifty quid for two boxes. So we scratched our heads, itched our armpits and various other unlikely places that you would do that sort of thing and I suddenly remembered I've got some boxes at home plastic storage boxes tucked away in somewhere so and I, um, we raced we home raced home as indeed we very have, fast and we've just tried it and now we want to try it on camera because we didn't want to you know do it and then it didn't work but we think we found the solution I think the solutions there but we need to put it together just to make sure. Yes. But we've also come up with a, a nice backrest. Unfortunately, it's not outside, it's in the van. So, nice backrest. yes, I'm not taking a brick wall with me everywhere I go. So, the lovely Julia has arrived. Hello, lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Richard. Now, our camping trip is only around the corner. And Ricky has come to our aid. Ricky. Ricky has come with, oh, a, yes. with a tent. Oh, fantastic. So that's good. But now, on the off chance that Joe comes with us, mm -hmm. I've been thinking, what could we do? Because what? obviously, Joe is Joe. Hurricane Joe, yeah. Hurricane. Geronimo Joe. Geronimo Joe. So I thought, um, Tim's been, and he's helped me come up with this idea. We We came up with loads of things, but we came up with this, actually, really easy simple and cheap solution right and it all evolves around these storage boxes you're gonna put a board on the boxes yes i'm gonna put a board on the boxes excellent okay so that that's you one and, way of doing it yeah so that you and joe can have a space that's contained and, and all of that so i want to set it up so you see it so i'm gonna place one box down here now you might not think that these would be strong enough but tim and i have walked on these boxes. Right. Yeah. Uh, Going to put another box in here. So this is handy because these are great storages. So you can have a box with all your stuff in, and I can have a box with all my stuff in for easy transport, like clothes and, and all of that. Right. And Joe's, obviously, he can get a smaller box in there actually. Um, so now behind you, mm -hmm. this is where it gets a little bit clumsy and with two people is a mattress, my lovely old air mattress that came with the bed, but also a piece of wood. Now, I've got it fungied on here just for ease of help. So I'm going to move this mattress down. Ooh, Sorry. Back it up, back it up. And we're going to move the bit of wood that is built support there. But we have some, I know these are a bit gash, but we have a couple of, I think it goes that way or does it go? I think it goes that way, can't remember. Um, Tim's holding the camera. He says it's okay. And we have one about there, something like that. And then this one uh, is gonna go something like that. It's kind of Z-shaped. So this now is going to go that end down first. In there, like that. This goes across, other way around, like that. In there. And it goes, it actually goes up to there to make a bit of a pillow, although one would have a pillow. And, um, well, you don't need the other pillow. It depends where Joe is going to sleep. Let's say he's sleeping there. So you've got one soft and one reasonably soft. Mm. So now, if I come over here for a minute, 
I'm a, this is more comfortable for you and Joe's a lot lighter. So have a go on there and see what you think. Is that nice? Not bad. And then obviously you, you know, I don't know how you're going to do your covers and things, but we'll worry about that in time. But the That's main... Nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. And then you've got up here for, you know, tea and bottles and milk and all that stuff. And you've got all this space. And if at the bottom of the bed, you need to put boxes and stuff for nappies and things. Yeah, I'll probably do that because then you can't slide down that way. Yeah. So you could do all that and you can shut the doors, you can open the window so you can open the window. I'll be in the tent, but also at the rear end you've got the loo. Fab. So you've got all that privacy, you've got the little loo here. I guess you will have a bush then overnight. I can, um, I'm a man, I can probably manage with a bush, as long as it's not too prickly. Um, and I'll be in tent. So I think this is quite a simple solution. Mm, mm. And everything is then self-contained, it all packs up and all stores again for transport. We've thought about this long and hard. Oh, you yeah. know, at least 10 minutes, didn't we, Tim? Mm. At least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. Mm. In between Over coffee. coffees and biscuits and donuts. And uh, not that I eat any of that stuff, you do understand. Um, and so we can reassure the viewers who've been asking for out and about videos that we're going to get some. Yeah. Because you've got some ideas with Ian McKagan, whose mm -hmm. field it is, we're going two yep. for, for some places to go yep for at least one big idea so um it's, it all should be really good looking forward to it yeah yay Exciting. i get to meet ian mccaggan for first time. oh you've not met him no oh, i feel like i've met him yes. but i haven't he's met him he's a lovely him. bloke he's yeah lovely. i know i know that much yeah no very nice very nice so we'll be back in i'll be back in his field and i'll be able to show you where all the blackberries oh they won't be there will they no no too oh, early too early twirly ah, ah. But anyway, there we are. Brilliant.